Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am just coming on to do day five for Junk Journal January, which is an open collaboration hosted by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And today's prompt is Daily Log. And I was in a puzzlement over this one. Then daily logs, been in the medical field for 30 years, then daily logs all the time there, just didn't realize it was called a daily log, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. But I usually make a list the night before what, you know, the next day, and I didn't realize these are partially daily logs, I'm thinking. And then I write notes going through the day, you know, this is what happened and blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking I've been doing a daily log my whole life and didn't know that's what it was. So let's get into it. I just already had some things put out. We have a medical issue going on here in my at my house with someone. So not been able to be in here in the craft room today. So this is as far as I've gotten. So let me pick up where I left off. And one thing in my... I always write down on my to-do list or my log the night before is drink coffee. I love coffee. I also love tea. But I thought this was really cute. Let me pull this off the dangle from the other page. We'll put it back in a little while. But let me pull it off and show you National Essence for Coffee Company. Isn't that the cutest thing? $16.66 for, I don't know what, let's see, the settlement of an invoice from 18, I think it's 97, that's what the year was, June 17th, 1897. But this is just a replica I bought in a pack from Amazon, but I thought that was cute to put the coffee on my daily log since that's a big part of my morning, afternoon sometime early evenings but I also drink tea but anyway I thought that was funny put the coffee there and distressed it all up so it look all grungy and I'm thinking because daily log has to do with time and time management I would think it does that's what resonates with me so get some clocks here I noticed there's a skull there that's so cute that is so cute but anyway I want to put this here but I don't want to cover up coffee company those words and then I did start a pocket because I made a little daily log and I put some lace of course some grunged up lace on there just a little scrap I had but I want this to be to the pretty much to the bottom and I want this to be to this edge I do know that so let's see I think I'm going to stamp something there. Should I do the roses? Spider. How about we do roses? I do spiders a lot. <laughs> I think this is the color I want. Ground espresso. Archival ink. I think we will just be able to it right there. Hope I'm not making the camera shake too much. But just something, just a little something right here. There. Now, that's not such a big void. I think I want it on these um, clocks also. I think that will add a bit of interest. <laughs> Almost made that one disappear. That's okay though. I like it. Let's put this aside real quick. So I want this. This is going to be here. Even with that and to the bottom and I want this to be right 
there. So what I'm going to do, put some glue stick on the back of this. in the middle and put art glitter glue on the edges. It just saves a lot on the art glitter glue if I just put some of the inexpensive glue stick down. It's just scotch permanent glue stick. It does what I need it to do. And a lot of times you can find it extreme sales on Amazon for the Scotch permanent glue stick. I am not an associate or anything. I just purchased it with my own money because I like it. Put some of this on here real quick. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and everybody is healthy. happy and prosperous thank you so much to all my new subscribers and thank you to everyone who has been here with me for a long time I appreciate you Let's get a little bit in there this is a little bit thicker than uh, it's gonna go there so we can just put that excess glue right there okay I want this to be right here, pretty much right at the bottom. This, I'm going to have to pull it closer to my face, to me face, closer to me face. <laughs> Can't bend over because my hair would get everywhere. I have really long hair, so it does tend to get everywhere. Up to the top. I think that's where I want it. That's fine. That'll work. And I don't care if it looks wrinkly, that just adds to the nostalgia and the grunginess of it. And I'm sure everyone knows this to be cautious and to be careful, but I'm just, I just had a situation at my Joe's. employment it wasn't his place of employment it was an employee that's with the company he had an incident happen he was sitting in the drive-thru to order his breakfast and someone knocked on the window and this guy is like a huge man really big guy and not intimidated whatsoever by anyone but he started to roll down his window a little bit and they attempted this person that distracted him. One distracted him and then the other one tried to rob him. He's sitting in his truck and sitting in his vehicle in the drive through And of course, you know, he's, he could take on three men. He's that strong and that big of a man. But anyway, all beside the point is uh, they didn't rob him, but they stabbed him in the hand and stabbed him uh, in the shoulder and he had 17 stitches. So when you're in a drive through it doesn't matter what's going on. Keep your window up, please. And do not let anyone distract you with questions. Period. Ever. Don't roll down your window in the drive through But I just wanted to... That was just to my attention today. So I just wanted to pass it on. Always be cautious. Not paranoid, just cautious, please. And be safe out there. Okay, that looks great. So now we're going to put this one. But what I'm going to do is 
this is what's going to go in here but I'm going to lay it there so that it will be a little bit bowed so that it will fit in there that's what I'm going to do okay let's get let's hold the side I don't want to hold the side that I don't want glue on You might think that's funny, but I've done it too many times. Glued the wrong side. <laughs> I'm sure no one's ever done that but me. Let's see. All right. Awesome. I want it to the bottom and on that edge. <laughs> Make sure I don't get it glued in there. <laughs> that wouldn't be. <laughs> I have done that too. I have done that too. To dry. Okay, so then I'll pull that out. What's it caught on? Well, nothing since I pulled it off. <laughs> that's funny. This will be the side that slides in the back, so it won't get caught on anything. Make sure. Okay, yes, and see it's a little bowed up there, so then I can just tuck it in. But that's coming along nicely. I like that. Put it back up there so you can see what I'm doing. But I need to add some things here. I cut this clock out because I thought it would just go really well. Just not, not feeling it. For some reason I need something there. So I have these stickers that I had gotten ready. I think the stamp would go well. Pretty horses on it. I like that though to the edge. Oops. I like that on the edge. And I don't think that's what I'm going to do about this one. And I do, I um, uh, I like to keep receipts and all kinds of things like that. And I put those with my to-do list or daily log as you might call it. I think I like that. Okay, now Just tip that over there. We'll glue this on. Okay, a little bit of glue stick on that. And let me pop some around the edges. Just a little bit. Doesn't take much for these little doilies. A few drops here and there. Perfect. Now, how did we want it? That's going to go over there. About like that, that'll be great. Got a little scrap of doily on there. There. I'm sure the whole thing is shaking when I was doing that too. <laughs> it's just funny. Just 
just a mess right now. The little recipit, 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 <laughs> receipt. I know how to pronounce it. Just just like to uh, say recipit. There we go. Okay. Now this bracelet is really bothering me. There, I like that. That looks really good. Let's put a little bit of glue stick in the middle. I like this paper. It's a little thicker than just a scrap of paper, but it is not quite cardstock. Stuck down there. There. I like that. I like it. But yes, I like to put stamps on my daily log and it's all kinds of things. Oh, and look, I found the little check off list. I thought that would go really cute on this for the daily log. And I made just a little replica of what I do every day. I might start calling my to-do list a daily log now. I'm not sure. I kind of want to randomly place these things. Those horses are really pretty. Did I put some art glitter glue on it? Well, if I didn't, this is going to have some on it. So, that'll hold it. That looks cute. And I love coordinates. So, I'll go places. Traveling stuff. I like to write the coordinates down. Don't know why. I just do. So I'm going to add a coordinate sticker on here. That, whoops, this one needs a little bit of grunge in it. There we go. Awesome. And receive it. That's how I said it. Receive it. This is a Sarah Pike payment received. $38 in 1918. I think it's August. Can't really see it very well. That's just a wee bit much on that one. Let's do this. Let's share this glue. This is a stub from a bus or the subway, one or the other. And how about we put the receive it over here? There, I like that. There, all the things that I glue or stick on or staple or tape to my daily log just to keep. Because I put my daily log, I use a three ring binder for my uh, planner. And I keep my daily log in the front. Um, it's a three ring binder, so I keep my daily log in the front. What's that called? Not a folder, but whatever that is, double 
pocket. There we go. It's a pocket. I like this. Anyway, I keep it in the pocket so I can see it all day long. And then when I get finished with it, I three hole punch it and put it in the very back. And at the end of the year, I will take those and put them in a file folder or put them in a manila envelope, seal it up. And some of them I've never looked at again. Some of them I have. Oh, I like that. That looks awesome for my daily log. I like this, but I don't like those flowers on it. I don't think that it quite goes with anything, so it's going to go in my little scrap box. Okay, what we've been waiting for, let's see. Do I want this number three on here? I think that's just no. That, that'd be a no. I like that, though. Okay, here's my daily log. And I put January 1 on it. That's some washi tape. And this, uh, I purchased some of the uh, Distress Shimmer Sprays. And I just sprayed it on an envelope and just smacked that over just to see what it looked like. So, anyway, I put Daily Log on it. And, of course, I have to have some lace. And this is just a little piece of vellum that my friend... Leslie at Silverman Creations. She sent me a thank you note and she had some vellum and some stickers and things in there. Already using part of it. I love the little pieces of vellum. But, and this is a replica of mine. So, and you open it up and there it is. This is how I do the night before. I put the date and there wasn't room, but I usually put the day. Like I would have January, Friday, January 5th on it. And I, every morning I drink uh, six drinks of a shake and take my meds. And then I write down what time. But, and I'll have shaken meds and then I'll have coffee and then I'll have feed the girls. It's my um, awesome artistic ability there. My cat, so I have three. And then prep veggies for dinner and then eat before 2 p.m. Always have those one, two, three, four, five things first on there. Well, no, I don't. I'm taking that all back. I digress. The prep veggies, I don't. But I have shaken meds, coffee, feed girls, and eat before 2 p.m. Because I forget to eat. I know. People think that's crazy, but I do forget to eat. So... I do have a log on my refrigerator where I log everything that I eat so that just so that I remember to eat. But so I had my shake and meds and I checked it off and at 10 I wrote in 10 a.m. Then I had my coffee at 9, 10, and 11 30, three cups, wrote those in, checked it off, fed the girls, checked that off. Then uh, I put done. <laughs> but I just copied over from what was on my daily log. And so I just check it off and then eat before 2 p.m. I had uh, homemade chili, uh, one bowl, and check it off. And I actually ate it. I think I ate, it was like 2.18 today. So I will need to change that and put 2.18. I may have put it on my actual daily log. This, and you'll get just a little short glimpse of my actual daily log. There's my pen that has the four colors on it that I love. And I just hold it together with a clip. And then I have my little, what do you call this? Bulb pen. And I put beads on it. And that is what? That is my uh, fidget. Made my own fidget. There's my list. And there's coffee. And I had to cover that up because if I showed it, that person would know what I was making for them. So. Yeah, and then I put the little wizard on here. Make your own magic. He's so cute. But that's what I actually do, and I'll have one for every day of the week. Real fancy. I didn't realize it was called a log. I know. Daily log. It just sounds so professional. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, there's my little replica. My little clip. So this is what I did for... Hashtag Junk Journal January Day 5 Daily Log. There we go. And I'm Bex. 
with Buckfoot Crafts. Have a wonderful day.